Hello, uh, I am Kaushik and uh, in this video, video to, uh, I will be talking about uh, some importance or objectives of AutoSAR. So let's get started. When I started to learn about AutoSAR, the first thing which I wanted to know is wh why is this AutoSAR important to automotive world? So AutoSAR is automotive open system architecture which is a worldwide development partnership of vehicle manufacturers, suppliers and other companies from the electronics, semiconductors and software industry. With number of electronic control units in a car increasing rapidly every year and with the number of software defined functions in a car increasing rapidly, AutoSAR has gained significance. One of the biggest problems faced by automotive companies was that the software must often be rewritten from scratch when hardware is changed. So uh, let's see how this AutoSAR was formed to solve all these problems. AutoSAR was formed to solve few purposes. So let's discuss them one by one. The first one was hardware abstraction. Uh, there are numerous microcontrollers available in the market. Each microcontroller has a different design based on its development and manufacturer. Software developers who do application level development in the electronic control unit were wasting considerable, considerable amount of time in understanding and configuring the microcontroller. So AutoSAR provides hardware abstraction which means AutoSAR provides a software module called as microcontroller abstraction layer also abbreviated as MCAL that makes the basic software layer and the application layer independent of the microcontroller. The software developer can now focus on building the application than on worrying about configuring the microcontroller. The next purpose is PSW standardization. Uh, before AutoSAR, software developers of the automotive industry were putting in lot of effort in Im implementation and optimizing the components in, in line with the microcontrollers they used to design the ECU. This does not provide any value to the customer, further the supplier used to build the OEM with every new change in configuration. AutoSAR standardized the BSW system. The BSW will carry out the basic function of the ECU like uh, communication, memory mapping, input output uh, or device drivers and systems. This provides an opportunity for the software developers to now focus on customer feature and functionalities thereby increasing the competitive value. Further with the standardization of BSW the software quality has improved considerably as well. The next purpose is standardization of exchange formats. Before AutoSAR, every supplier to the OEM developed products in an ad hoc mode. This created a lot of compatibility issues as OEMs work with different suppliers for different products. AutoSAR is now working on standardizing the specification of exchange formats. This allows an opportunity for seamless integration among different products from different suppliers. The next purpose is to have reu reusability of functions. Reusability of function across vehicle networks and across OEM boundaries. One of the biggest challenge faced by the OEM was when an OEM wanted to add a function to an existing ECU. It required a lot of effort. For instance, if there was a brake ECU and the OEM decides to add a type pressure monitoring system along with the brake ECU, then OEM had to put in lot of effort to make it happen. With the introduction of AutoSAR, this large effort when reusing function has been reduced. Part partitioning and uh, relocation of a function has also been made possible with the introduction of AutoSAR. The next purpose is to have standardized interfaces. The usual process of development of an individual module in automotive electronics works something like this. 
Initially, the developer uses tools like MATLAB and builds the smallest model. MATLAB will generate the C code. When the new feature needs to be added, a small piece of handwritten code will be added to create the new feature in the model. However, such small improvements in non-AutoSAR models was very difficult because the interface were not standardized before AutoSAR. With AutoSAR making the hardware independent of the software, model-based development has been made very easy as the code generated from the model will be independent of the hardware and will be more focused only on the functional aspect. This makes life easy for OEM as the modules can be reused and it also reduces the interface between OEMs and suppliers. Different components from different suppliers can be interchangeably used to meet requirements of the OEM. So these were main these were the main purpose where uh, we can say the importance of autosar is very much for the automotive world thank you